Hello everyone, and welcome to the UBC Game Dev Launch Party video. Uh, we're making this video uh, for those who couldn't make it to the in-person launch party, uh, just to help tell them a little bit about the club and how it's going to work this year. Um, so let's get right into it. So pretty much what we do is we help people learn how to make games. That's our, our main focus. Uh, we're a very inclusive club, no previous experience required. Um, and we help put er, help people kind of join into teams and learn how to make games together. Um, so our motto is growing games from the ground up, uh, and that is pretty much our, our mission. Um, so the club does have official meeting times. Uh, and these are Wednesdays and Fridays from 6 to 8 in uh, IRC 6, but these are non-mandatory. Uh, so I'll get into a little bit more about uh, once you're in a team, finding times to meet with your team. But, uh, but these uh, in-person meetings will just kind of be for extra events like tutorials or community events or uh, fun stuff that we'll try and kind of do every week. So pretty much, uh, here's a couple of the things that we do is the industry workshops, we have our project teams, uh, we have our year-end showcase, and also tutorials and community events, and we'll talk a little bit about all of those. So first, we're going to start off with our project teams. Um, the whole point of this is you get on a team with a lot of a bunch of other people who are also interested in making a game, um, and all with a balanced kind of skill set, and you work together to develop a game. Pretty simple. Um, so on our sign up form, well, well you'll be able to, to see this kind of very detailed form that lets you sign up. Uh, and it'll ask uh, what kind of games you want to make. Um, it'll ask w what kind of experiences you have just so that we can balance out the teams. Uh, and we'll kind of use that to try and best fit people into teams uh, as best we can. Um, so the deadline to kind of sign up for these uh, project teams is going to be uh, the 24th, which I think is next Sunday. Um, so you'll have a, a week in a little bit. Uh, yeah, so please try and sign up before then if you want to be on a team from the very start. Uh, if you sign up late, you know, we can all still put you on a team, but it might take a little while and you might not be at one, uh, you know, for the for our first meeting. Um, if you want to be a project team lead, so every team will have a lead, uh, you're going to want to apply by the 22nd, which is next Friday. Um, yeah, we, we just need a little extra time. So we do have interviews for every lead, uh, just where we kind of talk and ask them about why they want to be a lead, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, we always need more leads. So uh, if you think you might be interested in being a lead, you don't have to have any previous experience or anything like that. Um, yeah, you can feel free to sign up, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 kind of decide from there. Um, so this year, we're going to announce all the teams and and who's leading what team and who's in it each team on September twenty seventh. So at six p.m. via Discord. Um, so September twenty seventh is going to be a Wednesday. Uh, so we're going to kind of have a big in person team meetup announcement thing. Uh, on Wednesday at 6. Uh, that would be like the, the come and meet your team kind of day where we'll announce them all and, and everyone can kind of see their teams. So, um, yeah, on on the 27th, uh, we'll kind of make an announcement about it. You can come in person and we'll have different areas for each team uh, and that could be the, the kind of time to, to meet them and, and decide whenever you want to meet for your, your weekly team meetings. Um, so, uh, the deadline for finishing games is March 25th. That's a tentative deadline. We, we usually end up changing it every single year. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll kind of be the day that you have to submit your games to participate in the year-end showcase. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the year-end showcase uh, later. So uh, for the project team leads, uh, pretty much your role is to kind of help manage team members and facilitate the development of the game. So, so help people uh, find things to do and kind of get the game done uh, and, and pretty much help manage the team and, and decide, you know, uh, how or help people stay productive, I guess. So it, it's not exactly the team leads uh, role to specifically decide, like design the game or like had come up with the concept. Usually you, you'll come up with a concept together as a team. Um, but 
but yeah, but but it's always good to have you know uh, ideas in mind if you if you do want to be a, a team lead. Um, so the team lead's role will kind of be to also help organize uh, meetings for the team. So 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 once you're together in your team, uh, you can pick any time to meet. It doesn't really matter to the to the club. Um, but we recommend having like one kind of weekly meeting a week, and then find a time that works for everyone. Um, and you can do it online on Discord or or in person. It, it's up to you. Um, the team leads also got to make sure that your game has a short trailer for the year-end showcase. We do require that every game that we present at the showcase does have a short trailer, uh, but we'll help you make them if, in case your team doesn't particularly want to. Uh, and like I mentioned before, those applications will uh, close on September 22nd. So if you think you might be interested, apply right away. It's really fast. You just got to fill out the, the quick kind of form. Um, and uh, and yeah, I definitely think if you're interested, I encourage you to apply. So our year-end showcase is kind of our kind of end-of-year award ceremony where we show off all the game projects to the industry uh, and and also anyone else who's interested in coming. And uh, we show off all the trailers. Uh, the industry judges go around and they talk about your games. They tell you what, you what they like about it, what they don't like. And afterwards, we hand out a bunch of awards. So. Um, the awards that we kind of have every year is Game of the Year, Best Audio, Best Gameplay, Best Concept, Best Graphics. Um, and we might add or take away more awards based on how the year is going. Um, so we also like to have industry workshops every year. So this is kind of where we bring in professionals from the game dev industry to, to come and talk about the, you know, talk about the industry or talk about some concept in game development. Um, just kind of to, to help teach us and, and you know help us learn from from professionals who are actually working in, in the industry. Um, we'll try and have these as often as we can. Of course, you know it, it's hard to organize, and we have to make sure that, that people are able to come to them. Um, so uh, stay tuned. We'll usually post about these in the Discord announcement channel, um, so so you can stay tuned for that. Uh, so next is uh, the memberships. So we are an AMS club, which does mean that unfortunately uh, you do have to pay the membership uh, in order to, to participate. Um, so it does cost five dollars, but uh, but that'll kind of get you access to all of our events, tutorials, workshops, all that stuff throughout the whole year. Uh, you do have to pay the five dollars if you want to be on a project team. Uh, we'll only be able to place you on a team if you if you pay. Um, so you can buy that membership on Show Pass. The link is up in our Discord on, on the announcements. Um, and make sure you use the same name for your Show Pass that you use when you're uh, filling out the other sign-up forms for the club. Um, we do go through and we check all of the Show Pass tickets to make sure that everyone who's on a project team kind of has a, a Show Pass ticket. And, and we'll reach out if there's a if, if there's an issue. But uh, but please try to make sure the names are the same just to make it a little easier for us. Uh, if you were an old member last year or before, you do have to renew the membership. Unfortunately, it's a it's an AMS rule. Um, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. So so like I mentioned, uh, you gotta purchase the show pass ticket uh, in order for us to put you on a project team or be a, a project lead. Um, if you have any issues with purchasing a ticket or anything like that, or you know can't get it to work, uh, please let me know and uh, we'll we'll be able to help. Uh, yeah. So here's the link to our Discord. This is where we do almost all of our communication. As you you probably guessed, most of you are here because you probably heard the Discord announcement. But um, this will kind of be where we'll announce the project teams. It'll be where you can ask questions, um, and it's also where you can contact uh, the execs. So you'll probably notice on our Discord, uh, way off in the corner, uh, you can see me, Kyle, at the top. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to send me a message or any of the other executives. Um, so uh, yeah. If you have any questions, we have a Discord Q&A chat. Uh, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, yeah, no, no such thing as a stupid question. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so thank you all so much for, for listening in, and uh, I hope to talk to you uh, in person soon.